I recently had a flight layover in Chicago, and so I had the opportunity to walk around O'Hare Airport, which is pretty interesting because there's an incredible memorial dedicated to an individual in between terminals one and two. But before I tell you that story, I really need to tell you a different story of Chicago. And it's the early 1920s and the 1930s when it was ran really by Al Capone. You guys have heard it, Scarface, who ran gambling and drugs and prostitution, all these things for so many years in Chicago stay off the radar. And it really comes down to one individual. His name was Easy Eddie, or his lawyer for Al Capone. And Easy Eddie was good. Like he would get Al Capone out of trouble anytime for all kinds of reasons, which you might be going, well, hold on, didn't Al Capone go to prison? He did. But it was only after Easy Eddie finally decided to change his perspective. You see, for years, Easy Eddie would get Al Capone out of really tight situations with the law. And in return, Al Capone would bless Easy Eddie with an incredible salary. His house was in an entire city street block in Chicago, big walls and a private building. His kids went to fancy schools. They had everything they wanted. But one day, Easy Eddie realized that his legacy was tainted, that he wasn't going to be able to pass on things that mattered of value. And he decided to change his course, his direction. And he actually went to the government or the law and said he would turn in Al Capone. Unfortunately, how the story moves forward, he was killed in an incredible shootout, in a blaze of glory, if you will, of his car. Now I want you to move forward several decades later, and now we're in the middle of World War II. And there's an individual that's going to perform in battle like no one had up to that point. You see, one day, Butch O'Hare was flying his plane with his rest of his squadron, and they were out on a patrol. When he realized, for some reason, he looked down at his gauges and he noticed his plane did not have all the gas that he needed to complete the mission. So he talked to his group and he said that he was going to go back to the aircraft carrier and get refilled. And so when he was heading back to the aircraft carrier, he came across a site you do not want to see. He came across another squadron of planes, but this one from Japan, a Japanese squadron that was going to attack his entire fleet he had a couple options here. He could fly back to warn his squadron to bring him back and see if they could fight. Or could he get back to the base in time to warn them? But he realized that what he had to do is he was going to have to take him head on himself in that moment. So Butch O'Hare begins to fight the Japanese squadron by himself, taking down a plane or two in the process until he ran out of ammo. And what was really a turn of events is instead of quitting, he starts using his own plane to try to nick and take off wings of the Japanese planes, taking out a few in the process. Eventually, Butch O'Hare scares the entire Japanese fleet away and they flee in, in retreat. And he limps, if you will, his plane back to the aircraft carrier. It had so many holes that the, the bystander said, we cannot believe that that plane was able to land at all. And Butch O'Hare goes on to fly many more flights and in receiving the very first Medal of Honor awarded to a fighter pilot in World War II. He does eventually die in combat a couple years later. But that is where the monument happens in Chicago O'Hare airport it's named after bush o'hare an incredible fighter pilot and human being and the great part about this story is that easy eddie is butch o'hare's dad you see easy eddie was going to not leave a legacy that mattered but he changed he was able to change his trajectory and change inevitably inevitably his family's lives and his son goes on to create a legacy that every single one of us knows here in America because we fly through his airport every single day. You have that choice today to change or to live out your destiny. You can do either or. Maybe you're Easy Eddie right now in this story. Maybe you're Butch O'Hare. Whichever one it is, be the spark the world needs.